going cruising today. In this episode of Live and Love in Alicia, we're going to Floyd's Pelican Bar. I'm Leisha, and after years of battling anxiety, I'm currently documenting my experiences to challenge myself to try new things, meet new people, do more of what I love, and figure things out bit by bit. I'm on this journey with you, learning to fear less and enjoy life, and I want to share it all to give myself a purpose to inspire others like me to do the same. Subscribe if you're along for the journey with me. No shoes on this boat, guys. I believe the trip is around 14 to 15 nautical miles from Sandals to Floyd's. It took us about 30 to 40 minutes or so to get there. The boat goes slow enough so that you can enjoy a smooth ride, but fast enough so that it doesn't take all day to get there. Just to give you an idea of the whereabouts, the tour took us to the south along the coastline to Floyd's, which is just a little further down from the Black River. If you aren't headed there on a boat, you could take a taxi and hop on a very short boat ride from the shoreline. By car from Sandals, it's 31.2 kilometers and would take us about 39 minutes with no traffic, according to Google Maps. I much prefer the boat ride. Give me something, something good. I get wasted on the thought of you. Uh. Eric, you're so 90s out today. We got like the Fresh Prince hat on and the Jurassic Park shirt on. <laughs> Hope you got your sunscreen on. Oh, and the Ray-Ban Wayfarers too, man. Yep. <laughs> and you do have your sunscreen on, right? I do. <laughs> okay. still, still, still with me all the time. Once the captain dropped anchor, the crew started making trips to Floyd's in the dinghy. At this point, the water is not very deep at all. Apparently, if you fall in, all you need to do is stand up. We were helped out of the boat and into what has to be the most unique bar slash restaurant I have ever been in before in my life. Yes, just came over on the boat. Come on in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so cool. Right away, everyone is gathered for their orders and given the menu. So listen up guys, we have fresh fish, fresh lobster, Fresh chicken and fresh shrimp, and I'm for lunch. And you'll get beers, rum, fun, dark and strong, and you'll get a drink. So if you guys need anything to drink or eat, you just give me your room number and you pay before you leave, okay? If you're on a tour with Island Roots, you'll give them your room number, but you must bring cash with you to pay for your food and drinks. Floyd's will accept both Jamaican and US dollars, and I bet you can do better than we did on the price if you bring Jamaican dollars. I can't guarantee what the prices will be if you go, but Eric and I shared a plate of lobster with rice and beans for about 20 US dollars. <laughs> if you're curious about how this whole place came to be, here's the gist. Owner Floyd Forbes dreamed about a magical bar built on stilts out in the middle of the ocean. He originally intended it as a place to hang out with his buddies while fishing. Eventually, the Jamaican tourism board found out about it, and in 2001, the Pelican Bar was officially open for business to both locals and tourists alike. 
Floyd's friends are happy to carve your names in the floorboards and apparently proudly hang up any souvenir that you bring along with you from home. We had our names carved in the floorboards to make our mark on this unique place to visit in Jamaica. This is so cool. This place reminds me of like Jamaica's version of the Fat Pelican, but this is like way better. Fat Pelican here on the beach. When I found out how close this was to Sandal South Coast, it was the main tour that I wanted to go on. Book it before you get to the resort. If possible, it will fill up. While you're waiting for your meal, grab a drink and hop in the water, or do what we did and grab your GoPro and explore the sandy bottom around Floyd's. You never know what you might find under the surface. I would stick to the sandy bottom in order to avoid stepping on one of the sea urchins that love to hang out in the turtle grass. The team at the Island Roots desk at Sandal South Coast will let you know everything that you need to bring with you for this tour when you book. I recommend going as minimalist as you can and don't bring anything with you that you would be majorly upset to ruin in the water. Probably looks so crazy, but you know what? Does not matter, man. <laughs> Eric, did you enjoy that? No, it's cool. One of the coolest things we've done in a while. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what the trip back entails. Pretty windy, so no one can probably hear us talking about this right now. right here captain we have about two or three knots two or three knots not much so the ride back is basically a party you guys the island roots crew will have the music going and see to it that you have a good time i think this goes without saying the sun is strong out there so make sure you drink plenty of water all right well I'm no longer dead to the world, so it's time to eat yeah. some dinner. Bruise was so fun, but like that was exhausting, and the sun just took me out for the rest of the afternoon. Sun one, leash Sun one, leash zero. So I'm about to gobble this food up. It looks amazing. Dinner that evening was at Jasmine's, which is the Asian fusion restaurant. We ordered some spring rolls, I had teriyaki salmon, and Eric had a steak. For dessert, we headed out to the all-white chocolate symphony. Pack your all-white outfits and end your night with some delicious chocolate for some sweet dreams. Next time, Eric is finishing up his scuba certification, we attempt to sail our own boat and share more about all the included activities, and we head to Eleanor's for a fancy dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially to the new subscribers, and for more Jamaica, check out the rest of my playlist. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. See you next time.